Bishop Hayes, delegates, and guests both here and online. As you know, methods of communication are constantly changing, and our Department of Communications is constantly working to stay on the cutting edge. In addition to our written report, which you will find on page 75 of your pre-conference workbook, and the awarding of prizes for the photo contest, which we'll do in just a minute, we're happy to announce that our website will have a complete overhaul this summer. <laughs> the use of smartphones, tablets, and other new technology is growing rapidly, and a highlight of the new website will be responsive web design. Responsive web design ensures that vitality all of information will be on our site and available to all. No matter what device you're using, you'll have all the conference news and information at your fingertips with finger-sized buttons to make it easier to use. Another exciting growth area of our communications is video. If you need a video for your church service or Sunday school lesson, it is easy to go on our website to okumc.org and pick out the video that you want to use. In addition, uh, many of the annual conference videos will be on our website, uh, including uh, that wonderful sermon we heard last night. In addition, uh, we have a highlight video that if you would like to obtain that, if you will contact our officers, we will send that to you free of charge uh, for you to use in whatever manner you choose to use it uh, via DVD. Uh, just to contact the communications department and we'll send that to you. We all know that the best form of com communication is two-way communication. And we're working to enhance that as well uh, we want to hear from you, and we're using a new technology called crowdsourcing. Feedback is very important to us, and uh, therefore, uh, you all have given us valuable information. One of the reasons why you got most of Memorial Day was because of the feedback that this conference gave us about uh, when they would like to have conference take place. We want to give you that opportunity again both to evaluate this annual conference and to give us feedback on things that we might consider for the future. Therefore, if you go to our conference website and fill out the surveys, uh, we'll begin to analyze those as we begin to make plans for the 2014 annual conference. Also, we will be sending you an email notice uh, with a button so you can go right directly to that survey uh, when you get home. Uh, so please uh, respond to that. If you would, post your suggestions also on Facebook or send us a tweet on Twitter. Uh, just search Facebook for Oklahoma United Methodist Communications and be sure to join our group. We have over a thousand fans now. You can also send a tweet to hashtag OKAC2014. We really do want to hear from you and we appreciate your help. One of the things that happens so often is change, and we're sad to report that the United Methodist Reporter, as many of you have heard, uh, is ceasing its publication. The contact edition that you will receive this week will be the last edition of which the United Methodist Reporter insert will be a part of the edition. Now, the contact will continue. Uh, we'll be publishing from Oklahoma City, and we'll, and, uh, we'll continue as, as previously done. Uh, this will allow us also to make some design changes and to do some other things uh, that we think will be exciting in the future. But we do want to celebrate and pause. Uh, Sherry used to chair the United Methodist Reporter uh, Committee there, so um, uh, I know she feels a, a deeper sense of sadness than we might. Uh, but they've been a valuable partner to us, and they've been a valuable partner to the United Methodist Church. Over 160 years of publication wow. comes to an end. Wow. Wow. and so. But we will pick up national news, and uh, we will, uh, particularly in our electronic publications, uh, try to be as current as possible. And uh, I hope you'll continue to sign up for our electronic uh, newsletter and, and other things that you'll see as, as we uh, go along. Also want you to know that we'll be offering a workshop at Ignite Workshops uh, this, uh, uh, this coming year. And uh, if you would like to see uh, certain communication skills taught at the Ignite Workshops, please let us know. Uh, we'll be certainly going uh, with the uh, modern technology and all the other things that we're doing now, uh, but there may be some specific things that you would like to see uh, taught in that training. So let our department know and we'll help provide those at our Ignite workshops. 
Finally, I want to say uh, how appreciative I am of uh, this lady right here, Sherry Goodwin. She's been the chair of our department since I've been uh, your uh, communications director, and uh, she has just been an inspiration. Not only has she, she brought great leadership to uh, this department, but she has uh, uh, been that presence in all our conference committees and all the things that we have done uh, through the communications department uh, and through the annual conference. So, Sherry, thank you so much for your leadership all these years.